Hi, in this video, I am going to talk about what is a GDPR and how is this going to affect model building, um, machine learning model building. Okay, so you might have already heard about what GDPR is. So GDPR stands for General Data Protection Regulations. So it's a data protection regulatory uh, regulations. Um, and it's a set of regulations, it's a law on protecting personal data of all individuals from the European Union and from the European economic area. Okay, so that's very clear, right? It's a regulations to protect personal or individual data from the citizens of EU and European economic area. Okay, so any organization that holds data of EU or EU citizens, it has to be compliant with GDPR. So it did not have, did not be present in uh, Europe. You know, it did not have uh, its headquarters in, the, in these countries. But if it just holds the data of uh, you know citizens from these countries, then it has to be compliant. So they have to be compliant by 25th of May 2018. So that's the deadline. And any information uh, can be found out on the official website. So it uh, it's um, everything to do with personal data, and personal data is commonly known as personally identifiable information, okay, or in short we call it as PII. So according to them, personal data is any information relating to an individual, whether you know relates to his private, professional, or public life. It can be anything from name, home address, photo email address, bank details, uh, you know, different posts, whether it's Twitter post, Facebook post, any photo that has been posted on, uh, on Facebook or Instagram, uh, medical information, computer IP address. So anything that is related to somebody's private, professional or public life, then that would be categorized as um, personally identifiable information. And you know, if if an organization is holding such data, it has to be compliant with GDPR, especially uh, when it comes to its users, further users. Okay, there are some lawful users. Of course, it's not that personal information cannot be used at all by the organization, but it has to be uh, in compliant with what the regulations uh, you know lays out. So what the regulation says is that you can perform tasks in public interest uh, and in the supervision of some official authority. Um, uh, you can use the data, PII data, to comply with the data controls legal obligations. You can fulfill contractual obligation with, with data subject and so on. So there are so many, uh, you know, uh, ways you can, uh, the organization can lawfully use uh, the PII information it has. Right to access is, is an important point in the GDPR guidelines. So what it says is that right to access somebody's personal data or information about how this personal data is being processed. Okay. Now, if uh, you are e-commerce company, let's say, and you have data of many users or customers, right? So uh, you'll be asked, like customer has the right to ask this organization that look, uh, tell me how my data uh, is being stored and it's being used in different activities within your organization, right? Now, if you have used his data in building some of the models, then you need to explain to him that how you have used the, uh, you know, his data or her data to come up with some models and, you know, using this model, how you're going to make decisions and so on. And in, in certain instances, you also have to explain how your data is being used and what transformation it, it goes through while building an ML algorithm. And that's challenging because many ML algorithms are considered to be black boxes and um, you know people don't quite understand while building them and there are many layers uh, in the algorithm and you know one has to explain how each layer is, is sort of using your data to come up with the final decision and that's a big challenge. Okay, we'll talk about it. But what are the types of models that will you know get affected because of these guidelines. The recent incidents have actually, you know, um, have actually, you know, making uh, this particular guideline even more important or rather sensitive. Uh, so the recent incident with Facebook, okay, uh, so what happened and those of you are not aware of what happened with Facebook was that uh, there is an analytics company based out of UK that used Facebook, uh, many, uh, you know, Facebook uh, users data uh, 
to you know use it for purposes or uh, you know regions that that are not very good for public in general it actually had to interfere into many elections in different countries and that for that reason why you know facebook uh, was you know charged with a lot of uh, legal uh, it has to go through some litigation process and i'm sure there will be a lot of fine on on this company okay uh, so it has now taken a lot of uh, necessary measures you might have seen your facebook profile that there are a lot of uh, ways in which facebook is asking how it can use its your data to you know sort of recommend you news or you know recommend you um, you know websites uh, you know product services and so on so now it is in your control facebook cannot do it uh, just by that another incidence is with equifax so equifax is is a company that stores data on you know uh, credit behavior of you know credit data basically you know um, it gives credit score uh, of people uh, so that is basically related to personal PII category of information where you know you can get to you know somebody's um, you know name address and then this credit score and you know and obviously when you know bank details and you know financial details of somebody a lot of things can actually happen uh, so because the book of some cyber threat it lost a lot of data so it's under supervision as to how uh, a personal data uh, you know was so easily accessed by cyber uh, by by the you know hackers so these are some of the incidents why gdpr is now uh, you know being taken very seriously by most organization and and even by uh, most countries uh, in fact most countries are now having their own form of gdpr although gdpr is particularly from the european union countries but it's now being you know in, in some form or the other is being uh, is being you know drafted in many other countries okay there are uh, there are reasons there are ways in which uh, there is no restriction of uses of you know a PII data for instance lawful inter interception national security military and police and, and justice that's mostly by the country where you know the company is operating statistical and scientific analysis this is the most confusing thing okay um, uh, the assumption here is that when you do statistical analysis on data you, you actually are able to explain everything about it but that's not the case with machine learning right so people who are familiar with machine learning models they know that a lot of time you cannot actually explain why something is happening uh, there is no proper theoretical understanding even the best expert will uh, will find it very challenging okay that's one area where the discussion is still going on okay there's no clarity yet and a lot of controversial uh, aspect of this regulation that is yet to be you know sorted out um, and there are many you know such uh, reasons where you know you can use uh, data PII data for research and other purposes for details you can always go to their website to understand um, question is how are machine learning models going to be get affected okay um, more recently okay uh, PII data has become very important for especially the e-commerce companies uh, or the tech companies you know operating uh, on the uh, electronic commerce or the mobile uh, commerce space okay so don't those companies need your data so that you know they, they will send you uh, product services based on your behavior based on your and whatever but that's not it's without a consent you haven't given them the right to use your data for different sort of purposes of course they you know they have their uh, terms and conditions and you, you might have checked in terms and condition but but it's not very clear right so those areas uh, are going to be scrutinized okay so pi data cannot be used or cannot at least be used so easily in ml models and there are areas where it cannot be used at all for example in finance and banking especially the uh, fintech companies they cannot use pi data uh, to grant somebody loan uh, or right so somebody's uh, race uh, somebody's gender cannot be uh, a feature in your model okay that's restricted okay so your models will go under um, you know regulatory it has to pass the regulatory uh, framework before it, it gets used in banking and finance there are anyway many regulate regulations not just from gdpr side there are 
regulations from uh, many uh, you know the internally sent by the central bank by um, by the basel committee by uh, different other organizations but in non banking areas you know uh, you know there are not many regulations but gdpr is one or rather the first type of regulations the ml modelers will will have to you know face and they have to be complied with uh, whatever the guidelines are second thing is that uh, many times uh, you know good ml modelers they don't quite worry about the model interpretability in fact the expert have said that interpretability is is of is, is secondary in in developing ml models you know, ml models you are simply worrying about the prediction if the model does good prediction you know that's fine you know you don't have to worry uh, the interpretability of the model models now that you know you have to communicate to laymen or, or, or lay persons or people who are not familiar with uh, machine learning whether they are regulators whether they are common people or other department government uh, you know people from government then interpretability will play a big role okay so that's another change um okay the last thing that is important is that uh, for machine learning models in many areas one has to master a better model development with less data because a lot of the uh, pii data and i'm sure the pii data is still not very clear in many areas but you know a stringent action will be taken people who are you know manipulating pii information in some sort of ways to you know sort of you know just increase the efficiency of the model of prediction just to automate their task which is going to be uh, very difficult for people involved in this particular activities okay um so the type of model that's going to be immediately affected uh, in fact it's going to affect most of these models but the immediate effects will be mostly the recommendation engines um the credit approval models you know, pricing models so pii informations cannot be used in such uh, in such model development uh, so whether it's pricing whether it's approval of credit or whether it's uh, recommending product services to uh, you know uh, individuals based on you know, certain data 